Hello, welcome back. This is episode 3 of what I'm tentatively calling the mobile photography and video workflow show, I think. I'm not sure yet. Um, again, if you haven't watched the last two episodes, April is National Vlogging Month, and I was challenged to do it, make a vlog every day in the month of April. I will not be doing that, but I will be putting out tips and tricks for taking better pictures and video with your cell phone for three times a week in the month of April. Uh, in this episode, it really isn't about taking better pictures or video, but it's more about stuff I use. I think going forward on Fridays, I'll probably just put out the here's the stuff I use to help me take pictures and video. Uh, the one that is probably crucial to more than anything else that I use is this right here. It is a little hard drive. And what's great about this is if we're traveling or if I'm just out and I'm taking pictures and I want to put them on my phone, on my computer quickly, you can take this and this plugs into the back of my iPhone or iPad. This plug goes into your computer and you can back up your pictures off of your uh, iOS device in this case. You can get these for Android also, which I'll talk about in a video later on but this is also great if you're traveling and you're only using your phone or vi um, tablet to take pictures and videos having a backup is awesome actually it's not awesome it's a must having a backup will save your butt in case you know you delete your pictures by accident uh, iOS updates or Android updates and kills all your pictures uh, the Loch Ness Monster comes and takes your pictures, Yeti comes, you get abducted by aliens, your kid throws your phone or tablet in the ocean, whatever, having a physical backup that's off your camera will always be best. So that's my tip of the day, get something like this, I will leave a uh, link in the description for this exact one, but you know there are several that you can use, I like SanDisk, this is a 32 gigabyte version, they have up to 120 gigabyte version if your uh, only device for computing is your phone or tablet I would probably get the biggest one you can afford because that's where your pictures and videos are going to be saved thank you for checking out video number three I will also leave links to the first two videos in the description so check those out if you are bored over the weekend talk to you later bye